we are ready to do part three of the afterthought heel. All of our stitches are safely onto our needles. And now it's time to start knitting the heel. I am going to start here at this uh, lower needle or my front needle if you're doing magic loop. If you're doing double points or two circs, you can divide it that way as well. And now I'm just going to join my yarn. I'm going to use a nice contrasting color so we can see today. So I'll join my yarn and I'm just going to plain knit these stitches that are below the opening for the heel. And I will knit across all of these stitches. So I'm finishing up knitting the first half of the heel stitches or the stitches below the heel opening. And now that brings me to this area that I kind of call the ditch or it is the gap that is between the lower stitches and the upper stitches. I'd like to pick up two stitches in this area. We could spend a lot of time saying where to pick them up, but it doesn't really matter. Just simply picking up and knitting two stitches in this area will help close that gap up. So to decide where to go, I just put my needle in and see if I get a nice stable little area and that seems to work just fine. So I'll wrap my yarn around and draw a loop through. So that's pick up and knit. So there's one. And um, this looks like maybe a, a good area right here. And again, doesn't really matter. You can see here are some of my strands from my knitting and that's okay. I will just then wrap my yarn around, draw a loop through. So now I have picked up two stitches in that area. So I've got half of my stitches plus the two that I picked up. So now I am done with the lower half of the heel and then I'm going to, because I'm doing the magic loop, I'm going to rearrange my needles and now I will start knitting the stitches that are above the heel opening. If you have double points, you may want to divide this needle maybe into two, uh, these stitches into two needles. So now I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to go ahead and knit all of these stitches. So I'm just continuing around. So here I will knit and I will continue knitting all the way across these stitches that were above the opening. Now I'll knit the last stitch of the stitches that were above the heel opening. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other side where I had a gap or, or a ditch. I'm going to go ahead and pick up and knit two stitches in this area. So again, I'm just going to put my needle in where I think looks like a nice secure spot and wrap my yarn around and draw a loop through. So there's one pick up and knit and here it looks like another good spot. You can see I've caught a couple strands and that's totally fine. These are not live stitches so if you draw a loop through and don't like the way it looks you can just simply take it out and try again. So now I have all of my stitches picked up and now I am ready to begin knitting all the way around. Now the formula that I like to use for my heel is I will decrease on each end or each side of the heel above and below. So a decrease on the right and the left and then again here and again here. So my formula for that is I like to knit one and then SSK. Get my needle straight here. Tighten up that little loose guy and if you can knit this very securely here so it'll keep these gaps nice and close. So I will knit one, follow that by an SSK. And if you need a refresher on the SSK, I do have an SSK video. And then I will go ahead and knit all the way across my heel stitches and do a decrease at the other end. Here I am at the last three stitches on this side of the heel and I will go ahead and knit two together and 
knit one. And then I will turn my sock around and I will work on the other side of the heel doing just as I did on the stitches below the opening. I will knit one and especially this first round you might want to give it a nice good tug so you keep that nice and secure and then do an SSK and then I will knit all the way to the end of this side to the last three stitches knit two together and knit one so that would be a decrease round and when I am making an afterthought heel because I have picked up those extra stitches in this ditch or gap area I usually like to do two decrease rounds in a row and then from that point on I will alternate a decrease round which I am actually taking away one two three and four stitches in a round and then I'll alternate that with just a plain all knit round and I will do that uh, your pattern may direct you uh, but I generally will go down to, for me, an average sock down to 24 stitches. And then you would Kitchener the opening closed. And if you need help with the Kitchener stitch, you can watch my video on that. But here I will show you what an afterthought heel looks like when it's all finished. As you can see, um, one of the things that I did was one of my favorite things to do with an afterthought heel is to stripe it. So I have used just a minimal amount of yarn. I was able to create a nice contrasting pattern um, with my afterthought heel. You can see the nice um, decrease line that it has made. And here I'll open the sock up this way so you can see the fun effect that you get when you do stripe. You get this nice bullseye look to your sock. And, and here we have a Kitchener clothes, so a very nice finish to our sock. That's the afterthought heel. Happy knitting.